Hi, this is Kevin from Mathsaurus, and in this video we're going to be looking at the questions from Section A, questions 1 to 5, from the Junior Maths Olympiad from 2019. This is a really tough follow-on round for students that have done really well in the UKMT Junior Maths Challenge. But I actually don't think you should watch this video because I've taken all of the questions from the Junior Kangaroo from 2019 as well as the Junior Olympiad from 2019 and put them into a totally free online course. So you can go over to that online course by clicking at the link in the description below and you can work through all of these questions one at a time and then watch my video solutions. I've also got a totally free course over there going through the Junior Maths Challenges from 2020 and 2021 if you haven't already seen that and I'll put that in the link, that link in the description below as well. Um, if you haven't already taken the Junior Maths Challenge, the best place to start would be with the Junior Maths Challenge papers and then go on to the Kangaroo and the Olympiad papers once you're ready for them. What is the time 1,500 seconds after 1435? So we want to write 1,500 seconds in minutes here and there's 60 seconds in a minute so I need to do 1,500 and uh, divide that by 60. So you could either do that as an ordinary long division or I think it's often quicker to think of these as simplifying down fractions here so we can divide top and bottom by 10 and then I've got 150 divided by 6 and you might be able to do that straight away or you could divide top and bottom uh, by 2 and get 75 over 3 and then 75 divided by 3 is 25 so this is 25 minutes and 25 minutes after 2.35 that takes us to 3 o'clock or 1500 and so that's the answer. Six standard fair dice are rolled once so a standard fair dice just means uh, an ordinary die or dice with uh, the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 on it and fair means that it's not biased so it has an equal chance of landing on each side uh, but it doesn't actually matter here about the fairness um, as we'll see. Uh, so this is the total of the scores rolled is 32. What's the smallest possible score that could have appeared on any of the dice? So there's no probability in this question so it doesn't matter whether the dice are fair or not really. Now uh, to get a total of 32 we could do that um, in a number of uh, different ways, you know, you could have 6, 6, 5, uh, 4, that would give us 21, and then another 6 is 27, and then a 5 is uh, 32, and there's lots of different ways I can do this, uh, but if I want the smallest possible score on one of the dice, let's say I want to make this one as small as possible, um, it makes sense that I've got to try to sort of use up the score uh, on, the, on the other dice, right, so instead of having a 5 here, I could have a 6, um, and then I could bring this down to 3, instead of having a 5 here I could bring this one up to 6 and then I could get this down to 2. So somehow by making the other 5 dice as big as possible, making them all 6, uh, that gives me the smallest possible that could be on one individual uh, die here which is uh, 2 and uh, so the answer here is 2. A satellite orbits the Earth once every 7 hours, how many orbits of the Earth does the satellite make in one week? Well in one week there will be 24 hours in a day times seven days. So you could work out how many hours there are and then divide it by seven to work out how many orbits uh, of the Earth it will make, but uh, because we are going to say it orbits every seven hours, I want to do 24 times seven and then divide it by seven. So if you worked that out, I could do it without doing the multiplication, the sevens will just cancel here and we'll get back to 24. So it's going to do 24 orbits uh, of the Earth. 24 times 7 is the same as 7 times 24. So the answer here is 24. Okay, in the next question we've got three shapes and we want to work out the value uh, of C and uh, we're going to start with the shape on the left. We've got a triangle and we can see that the angles in the triangle A plus 2A plus 2A uh, must equal 180 degrees. So that's 5A equals 180. So A is 180 divided by 5, which is 36. And then in the square, um, well, A over 4 squared centimetres. So A over 4 squared, that would be 36 over 4 squared. So that's 9 squared, which is 81. So the side length of this square must be 81 centimetres. Now B to the 4 is also the side length of the square. So B to the 4 is equal to 81. Now, um, 
the 81 is 9 squared, and so it's also 3 to the power of 4, right? So uh, because 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is the same as 9 times 9, so that means that V must be 3 centimeters. And then if we look at the final triangle here, we've got B times B plus 1 times B plus 2. Well, we know B is 3 now, so this is just 3 times 4 times 5. That's 12 times 5, uh, which is uh, 60. So this one is 60 degrees. Um, and we've got a right angle here of 90 degrees. And so the final angle is 30 degrees because the angles in a triangle are up to 180. So 180 minus 90 minus 60 is 30 degrees. And so the answer here is 30. Danny wrote the integers from 1 to n. She used the digit 1 15 times and the digit 2 14 times. What is n? So I'm just going to start writing down numbers uh, in order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and just count how many 1s and 2s we use along the way. Now what I'm going to do uh, to make this more efficient is not write down numbers that don't include 1s or 2s. So we'll not write down the, one, the, the 3, 4, and 5 here. So the next number that includes a 1 will be a 10, and then it'll be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, they all include 1s, all the numbers uh, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, uh, 29, all include 2s. So let's see how many 1s and 2s we've got so far. Well, I've got, um, in terms of 1s, I've got the 1 here uh, at the beginning, and then I've got another 10 1s for the first digits of these numbers, and another one for the second digit here. So there's 11 here, so that gets me to 12 ones in this row. And in this row, I've got another a one, so that's taking me up to 13. And the same for the twos, I've got two here, and I've got 10 twos here, and I've got an extra two here and here. So at this point, I've also got 13 twos. So we're almost up to 14 and 15. So um, if I keep going, um, 30, we don't need to include. 31 takes us up to 14 ones, 32 takes us up to 14 twos, and no more ones and twos until I get to 41, and that gets me to the 15th one. So at that point, I've used 15 ones and 14 twos, and so the answer must be 41. Um, if we went any further, if we went to 42, we'd use an extra two, uh, so uh, that can't be the answer there, it must be 41. So I really hope that was useful. If you're preparing for maths challenges, either the Junior Maths Challenge or the Kangaroo or the Olympiad papers, don't forget about my online courses. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below. There's free courses there at the moment working through the Junior Maths Challenge from 2020 and 2021 with hints and solutions. And uh, there are other courses about the Junior Maths Challenge and preparing for maths challenges over there already. And over the coming months and years, I'm going to be making uh, a lot more content as well so sign up for the mailing list if you want to know about that or keep checking back here on YouTube uh, or over at the Matsoros website.